Okay, uh, I want to uh, talk a little bit today about 3D Coat, and I'm trying to learn this program, and there's a couple really unique things about it. I think I can probably get some sketching, which I'll, I'll, I'll show a little bit later on in it, but I want to talk about this one thing called Live Clay, which is actually pretty interesting, so let's, let's dive right in and show what we're, what we're going let's start. We'll start with this. this. Okay, so as you know, here's our our volume in here, I can make it a little larger. I'm going to make it just a little bit there, something like this. Okay. And I'll hit enter. Okay, so if I hit enter now, and hit the space bar, and I'll go under uh, resample, and you see I've got 168,000 polygons. Another way of doing that also is looking down here. Right down here, so 168,000 polygons. So here's my volume. What I want to do is I won't actually resample, I'm going to make it actually quite a bit quite a bit lower so uh, let's zoom in and let's uh, go to something like transform so now this is our object let's look at the wireframe that's I zoom in even more you see that's how dense the wireframe is so let's talk a little bit about these are voxels uh, as I start to edit this uh, uh, these voxels stay pretty much the same size I can always Increase the resolution if I want to by clicking this button here that says increase resolution of current object. So that makes it even less. Uh, I can also uh, decrease the resolution, and I'm going to go ahead and do that by again hitting the space bar, going into resample, and let's just drag this number. Uh, or let's, let's, let's drag this number down to something like 42,000. Okay, and I'm going to do it again. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to show um, a little bit of how this live clay works. So this is our model. If I look at it, this is what it looks like. If I try and draw on it, <clears throat> let's do an extrude, for instance. Let's turn off perspective. Click up here to turn that off. Zoom in. And uh, let's uh, hold the shift key down when I'm rotating. So if I if I rotate with the uh, control with the control key right now, you'll see that uh, I can navigate around it. If I hold the shift key down, what it's going to do is I'm rotating. It'll snap to a view. So now I can snap to this view. So let's go ahead and use this brush. Let's use this extrude. And uh, let's grow it quite a bit. And let's also, uh, oops. Let's, let's shrink the, uh, this height here, which is a depth. Let's make it about 77%. So there we are. And as I do that, I can actually click there. So now we're, okay, so let's draw a rectangle and you see that we experience it. Okay, actually, let's go into our, you know, these tools and let's just go ahead and hit a circle now. There we go. Okay, so there, I can drag this out. It's green, that means it's coming out towards us. I let it go. Sorry. And you see that's the actual circle that we have because we have such low resolution and we're looking at polygons. That's the, the low resolution circle. So I'm going, to, I'm going to undo that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this back on and I'm going to convert this to a surface model as opposed to a volume, a, a, a voxel model. By doing that, I click on this V there. Now we're in a surface model. So if I look at it again, Pretty much the same. Nothing too different. Let's see. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm in these surface tools. I'm going to go down and I'm going to hit this live clay button. And I'm going to go back into here. And I'm going to zoom up uh, like this, about this big. Now, 
notice as I move my, I can move this higher or lower, this little bump. If I move it higher, it's going to actually increase the density of the polygons, but it's also going to put a bump in there. So I want this to be flat. So I'm going to go in here and I'll make this flat. Now I want to make, I actually want higher resolution than that. So I'm going to actually scroll this down a little bit, okay, and then do it again. So that gives me even higher resolution. As, and as I, grow, as I scroll down, I get higher and higher resolution on this model. And I can choose where I want that resolution to be uh, for my, you know, for, for my detailing. So let's go back into the non-wireframe. You can see it pretty much looks just like what we had before. We'll go to wireframe and see it. So, so now let's go to our extrude tool. Now we're in the surface mode again, and and because we have the red button here, that means we're going to go out. And if I hold the control key down, it means we're going to go in. So I'm going to grab and draw this circle. I've got about this big. And now with my mouse button still down, I hold the space bar. So now I can move it wherever I want to and we'll do this. And <clears throat> so now we're going to see that when I've shown this, let's go ahead and hit the W key. And let's go ahead and uh, rotate around. You start to see now that, wow, that's even though it's a low resolution model, up here, it's high resolution in this area where I want to add. Now, why is this important, you say? Well, the reason why this is important is because right here. Uh, the reason why this is important is because uh, this allows us, after we've basically carved out our basic shapes and surfaces, or, or volumes, we can now go into service mode and add very fine detail like little tiny screws uh, that, that, that our voxel density would not allow for, right? So uh, this was something that I learned uh, from some friends online about this, and I know this is probably an old hat to a lot of the old 3D coders, but for new people that are getting started, this is a very interesting uh, set of tools, and I'm going to basically show how to use this to create some interesting designs here later on, I hope. Okay? Thanks for watching. Bye.